Hello friends, welcome back to another amazing episode of Cook with Pasta Class Florence. Here we are, I'm Michele. And Marco's here. And today what we're gonna make? We're gonna make an amazing recipe, okay? So today we will show you how to do a beetroot dough, okay? So in here we have our dehydrated beetroot and we're gonna show you this one in a different episode, so stay tuned. We're gonna show you all the perfect powder for the dough. In this case, we're gonna start with zero zero flour, okay? So we have about 300 gram of zero zero flour and we're gonna use three eggs. The magic happened. There we go. The beetroot powder goes yes. in. Can I go, no? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm in. So actually this one, we will show you soon how we produce this one, but it's uh, beetroot dehydrated in the oven, okay? And then you blend it with a spice blend or anyway, with a blender, any blender you have at home, okay? Until you get a nice powder, okay? You dehydrate it about 50 degrees Celsius overnight, so about 12 hours, right? I will show you everything. We're going to dedicate one full video about all the powder with the powder mat, again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gonna use one of the best tools that Fabio make with us okay so a spatula made by hand here in Florence by you Fabio Figus eh? yeah exactly a handcraft maker okay he make everything by hands we're gonna use it to cover up actually all the dough yeah and to clean up also the table a little bit okay so this one is a really useful utensil especially for making pasta right okay so now we keep work a little bit the ingredients, but now it's time to start to use our spatula. Eh? Good to be to incorporate a bit more flour before we start to knead the dough by hands. It's still a bit too sticky and wet for now. Always keep some double zero flour next to you in case you need some while you need it. And we start. As always, we roll with the end of our palm the dough like this, trying to let it work properly, huh? with energy, we need energy. Always energetic kneading, because now we're developing the gluten connection, huh? so it's a really important part of the process. So now the dough will have a very nice texture. Nice and elastic. Yeah, we'll never stop kneading it. Nice and smooth, okay? No flour around it, and it's nice and elastic. It's time to let rest our little dough. So we're gonna wrap it up with some plastic film and put it to sleep for half an hour in the fridge. We feel really generous today. So we are going to make another recipe for the dough. We're gonna make only egg yolk this time, okay? So we're gonna use each 100 gram of flour for egg yolk. In this case, we use again 300 gram, okay? And uh, we're gonna use, of course, 12 egg yolk, okay? We're gonna make the hole in the middle as usual, okay? You can place your hands and, and you go in with the egg yolk, yeah? This is pure gold. And now we start to whisking, right? So same as usual, okay? As you see in the other video, okay? We start to whisk the eggs together with the flour in order to incorporate the flour. This mix today we're gonna use for fillet pasta, but is a perfect, have the perfect consistency for long pasta. In the north of Italy, they use it, for example, for uh, tagliolini, okay? A really thin pasta, long pasta, but you can use for many different things, okay? Today we're gonna use with the beetroot, but we're gonna show you a different recipe as well in the other videos, okay? Now, we are ready when the mix is thick enough, like now, we are ready to take with the fork all the flour on top of the eggs laid there, right? 
so cover up the eggs with the flour. At this point, I personally like to keep going a little more with the fork, another couple of folds, you know, like that, yeah, in order to first incorporate the flour and make the mix more workable, and then we're gonna start to use our hands, right? When the mix is gonna be nice and thick. <laughs> Here we go, it's the time now to use the spatula, scrape out what stick on the fork and we try first to collect everything next to our dough, okay, and I start to give first couple of fold with the spatula, okay, you just go underneath like that, fold and press, fold and press all the flour into the mix and now we are almost ready to use our hands. A little bit of workout is always good, huh? Yes, yeah, especially this dough because compared to the other one, it's less elastic. You don't have the white of the egg. So for this reason, it's a bit more hard to work it, right? So now we're going to scrape out what stick on the spatula if you have it and we're gonna start to use our hands. We try first to push everything together, okay? And when it starts to become together, we start to knead it and it's gonna become elastic slowly. Yeah, we try to grab everything. You can clean your hands if you, if you need it. But don't waste anything. Now we grab it and we keep going. And this one, after you rest it, of course it's, it's gonna still a little hard, but it's gonna become more workable. So it's going to relax and it's gonna become a little softer than now. So this one is a for real a workout, okay? <laughs> I'm starting to sweat now. But I keep pushing, never. It's part of the game. Right? Yeah, never give up. <laughs> okay, so you see now we start to get in the point we want, okay? So we try to grab everything around and we done with the dough. So reach the point where the dough start to become smooth and also start to become nice and elastic. We're going to clean a little bit our section as usual. And now we're going to let the dough rest for about 20 minutes, okay? Until it's going to become nice and soft. It was hard, okay, but we make it till the, till the end. So uh, here we have our 40 egg yolk recipe, okay? So the recipe will be one kilo of flour for 40 egg yolk. In this case, we divide 40, 300 grams. But uh, the end result it should be something like that, quite hard as a dough, but really yellow, okay? Perfect for long pasta or perfect to mix with different colored pasta as we did before and we're gonna show you uh, in the next scene. All right, so we got back our beetroot pasta dough. Now it's nicely rested and it's ready to be rolled down, okay? So we're gonna grab a piece of it with, of course, pasta glass knife. Again, made by Fabio Figos, eh? Those are like... Don't miss it, guys. I, you can't stuff. miss this knife. Hot you stuff, can't. Guys. Huh? Ostendi, la vai. Okay. This one maybe is too much. We're gonna put it back over here. Close, nice and close. Always semolina. There we go. We try to give it a little bit of a shape. And remember to always start from the highest number here, eh? of course. We're gonna pass it through and give it a few folds. Like this, to give more structure and to have the fully wideness of the machine, so we don't waste anything. Amazing color, huh? Very, very nice. So, our beetroot pasta dough now is at the right thickness to make our special pasta. So, ready, and now, Next, we go with the yellow pasta dough. The yellow dough is ready too, and we're gonna start uh, also to flat down our yellow dough after it's rested, okay? So, same things as the other one, starting from the highest number, okay? This one is quite hard as a dough, to be honest. So, you can even, at the beginning, jump the, uh, the flour, and since it's hard, it's gonna break like this, okay? And this is not a problem, okay? So at home, when it's gonna happen, this one is happening because the dough is really hard, okay? So you just start to fold it, okay? 
and by folding, okay, the dough's gonna start to behave nice and straight, okay? You do a couple of times until you will find a nice straight piece of pasta. You see, you fold in three and you pass it again, okay? And at this time, as you see, I didn't add any flour yet, okay? You see now, start to behave nice. I pass for the last time, okay? So one and two, okay? And from now, we're gonna start to go down with the number. Our dough now is nice, okay? We start one at a time and we pass through the machine, okay? Uh, of course, it's really depending on the sensibility you have, okay? You can understand if you need the flour or not, okay? Right now, for example, at this point, I need a touch of semolina, but the suggestion is also to use a rice flour, mm -hmm. if you have it, okay? Which is really good for this purpose, okay? Now, we go, we can go fast to the end, okay? Until we're going to have a nice thin layer. Now we have our two dough ready, but we're gonna show you how we're gonna mix it up, okay? We can take the tools of the machine, which is, I think, over there, yeah? And we're gonna start to make the tagliatelle. Oh, Daniele. Oh, Daniele. Signolina. Exactly. Exactly, look at this. Beauty. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Beautiful. And now, straight after, we're gonna start to work this one on top of the, of the pasta. So now it's kind of uh, make origami for real, guys. Uh, so you, you just place it nice, you see, it depends what kind of pattern you want, okay? There is no rules, okay? But uh, we're, gonna make, we're gonna make it straight. So we go nice, one by one, go for it. One by one, and we're gonna reach this beautiful pattern that, of course, take time to prepare it, but aesthetically, this one is incredible, you know? I mean, this is a show of pasta. There, I think now, okay. Let's hope that God is gonna be with us this time. Huh? But first, I want to cut to side and bye, bye, Brandon. A little roll. Wow, mamma mia, è venuto un troiaio. Mamma mia. Eh sì, vale fatta. This is the moment of truth. The big time is here. We Let's switch off. back to one number, the position of the thickness of the machine. Let's hope now... that God is with us. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yes! You can also wear it. Now we cut, look, uh, just the end to make it perfect, you know. And now we're gonna cover, because we're gonna fill it up this pasta, okay? So we're gonna cover up with some plastic film, but we're gonna fold it upside down, like that, right? For one second, we're gonna take the filling and we are going to cover up with this one, okay? Like this, you make sure that it's not gonna dry really fast, okay? So you just take out this one, place it on top, and then you leave it like this, okay? Just leave it perfect like this. That's it. 
This is a big trip that we give you with this amazing recipe, okay? So you can play around on how to make this amazing pasta dough, okay? Well, you have infinite combinations. You can change the color, you can change the pattern, you can create your dream pasta. Exactly, you can show off with your family, with your girlfriend, on the first date. I mean, this one, what else, you know? <laughs> and next episode, we're gonna show you what to do with this amazing dough, okay? We're gonna fill it up with some amazing filling. So stay tuned on the, on the channel, okay? Yeah, for more videos like this. And see you here on YouTube. Please press like and subscribe, yes. <laughs> ciao, belli. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.